Hello, my beautiful Aries people out there. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing the energies, uh, any messages you may have for May of 2023. This is not, I do love readings, but this is not specifically love. This is general energies. However, love may come up in the reading. I will be doing in the very near future, maybe uh, at the end of this week for this next coming weekend, I might be doing love energies for, uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to upload them. I'm going through a move and that's been, things in life are kind of interrupting me, but that's my plan. But for right now, we're just going to get some general energy. So happy belated birthday to all the Aries out there. I know your season is technically over. We're in Taurus season now, but still, I want to wish you happy belated birthday to all of those who had birthdays. Uh, well, you all had birthdays, but <laughs> all of you had birthdays within the past uh, April to May, or no, no, March to April, excuse me, sorry. Um, hello, a shout out to, if you are watching, shout out to Lisa Zane. Um, she's one of my OGs from when I first started, and she's a beautiful soul, and I welcome her and give her a shout out because she's been supporting me from the very, very beginning. So thank you so much, and I hope you're out there. Glad to have you. Um, anyway, let's get into this. Let's get right into this. So it's going to be kind of a um, a simple format here. So we'll just, I'm going to shuffle one more time, if I can, and cut the deck. All right. I hope y'all are doing well. It's been kind of a lazy day for me. It's the weekend, so taking some time to do some movie stuff and then and that kind of thing. All right, here we go. Let's do the first three cards here. Let's see what we got going, Aries. We have the Knight of Swords, the Empress, and Justice. All right, let me see what energies I can get from this. Well, first of all, first and foremost, with the Empress being here, I feel that for the month of May 2023, um, this is based for May 2023, but it is basically a timeless read. Uh, so you may be watching this past May, and if this happened to come up on your feed and you clicked on it, this may be the message for you, Aries, at that particular time. But I'm just getting some energies for May, but energy is fluid, so it can go past May. Um, and it's a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you, so keep that in mind also. With the Empress here, what I'm hearing specifically, Aries, first of all, I'm hearing that you've been through a period of a lot of growth. And my table's moving. Pardon me. Um, <laughs> maybe that means something. Maybe you're moving. Um, I'm hearing that you're taking care of yourself right now. Okay, so at this particular period of time, you're taking care of yourself. And in the, in the so I kind of see this as past, present, future energy type thing. So in the past... If we're going to focus on past, you're at a point where you were running away from some sort of energy or situation. Now, depending on, it's all, in, you know, unique to all of you, depending on what that energy is. I'm specifically hearing for some of you, Aries, it was something that you were running away from that was kind of unpleasant for you um, internally. It was hard to deal with and you were, you were not wanting to have to deal with it at that time. But I'm hearing now in the present, so that was the past, in the present, you have dealt with that and nurtured yourself and worked through that. So now you're in a better place. You feel like, well, you, you see that you have more, I don't want to say control, but you've ascended to a higher level. So now you realize whatever this particular energy of the Knight of Swords was, whatever you may have been thinking, that's not part of your present anymore. And with the Justice, what I like about the Justice card here, and it's interesting because before I started this, I was testing the laptop, so I just did a little fake reading for you, and this card came out in that reading also. It was for Aries. I was just testing the laptop to make sure it would work okay. I had no space and stuff, and it worked. So Justice may be... You have more balance in your life. There's something in your life. 
I'm hearing that you gain the truth. I'm hearing that phrase, but I'm hearing that you gain the truth for yourself. Something that is, again, ascending you to a higher level. I'm trying to see if I hear anything else specifically. Because I'm noticing, for some reason I'm noticing, first I noticed the yellow in the three cards. But I'm seeing the red, whatever that is behind her. There's a red pillow and some sort of blanket or whatever that is. And the justice, the person in the justice card is wearing a red robe. So there's something that, there's an energy. Now it could be passion. So, you know, again, it's not about love, but I'm feeling some sort of passion for something. And I'm feeling that this passion and this energy may be going into yourself, but at the same time, you're exuding that energy to those around you. So it's like not only are you doing it for yourself, but you are influencing and affecting in a positive way the people around you. Aries have that energy a lot of times. Anyways, you guys have a great energy. I'm sorry. I know a lot of Aries. I've dated Aries. And they're fun-loving, go-getters. They just have that energy. And for the most part, I mean, you can have your moments, you know, where you're not so so all sunshine and whatever. I get it. But um, in general, whenever I've been around Aries, it's kind of a contagious energy, and it's a great energy. And anyways, anyways, that's just my personal view on that. So let's let's get to the next the next section here. There's your truth. Ace of Swords. See here? With the Justice card. The truth prevails. And when you get the truth about something, see this, this, and you have a sword here too, but this sword was more or less kind of a haphazard thing. It was like, maybe it was something that you were going after or something that you thought you needed in your life or you wanted to achieve, but it, it somehow, that particular energy is something that wasn't doing you justice in your life. I didn't even realize when I was saying it that that, okay, anyways. Let's keep going. <laughs> the Hanged Man and the Three of Swords. Okay. Hanged hey Man, Three of Swords. Most of you know the cards, but I'm going to show you the cards anyways. And we'll get to the bottom of the deck in just a minute. So right now, in May, at the present time, and I will be, again, I'll be doing a love reading, and then I'm going to try to do a midweek type reading if I can. I mean, I'm not promising anything, but these are my ambitions for this month. And we will follow up on this and see what your energies are halfway through the month to see what may be going on specifically. But with the hanged man, it's, it's, it's either time to or you've taken the time. And see, he's wearing those red pants. They look like tights to me, but red. So there's something. I'm getting like different messages at the same time. Slow down, spirit. Slow down. <laughs> I can only do one at a time here. Well, first of all, it's either it's time to take a moment, either to take a moment and do this now, or maybe you've already done it, seeing things from a different perspective. With this truth here, with the Ace of Swords, there's something that it, and it's a new beginning. So this is a, a good thing. However, it it may not have been something that you had expected, uh, not something that you wanted. Again, it was an uncomfortable energy with the Knight of Swords. And this now with the Three of Swords, an uncomfortable energy or a realization that you didn't really want to have to deal with. However, I'm hearing that you have. And if you haven't, it's time to do that. But I'm hearing that you already have. Because like I said, with the Empress card, I feel like there's been a lot of growth. You've been honest with yourself and the situation. Took time to really think about the different aspects of it created a balance so with the truth you've got a balance and the the um it's a clearness it's like a realization clarity that's the word i was trying to think of there's some sort of clarity in the situation that has allowed you to grow so now you have ascended to a higher level for your higher self okay bottom of the deck so the overall energy is the six uh the six of pentacles and the first thing i heard and see there's the red robe so I'm hearing that with, I'm almost hearing that regardless of the gender here of the person, in the picture, the person's a male, doesn't matter. There's no gender specifics here. Um, with the person with the red robe on, I hear Aries in this particular situation, 
you were doing all the giving and somebody was doing all the taking. And, this, and there's the Ten of Pentacles underneath and the Queen of Pentacles. Lord have mercy. Now this may be, Pentacles can be monetary. It can be a job. However, that's not the energy I'm feeling here. But that may play into it for some of you. With the Six of Pentacles, what I'm seeing is this is you, Aries, giving to a particular person's, sorry, situation. Or, or this person over here. Maybe you've been trying to give to someone in your family or it could be a job and there's a person or something in your life that's over here gimme 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 well it's like you know what i only have so much to give i've already given some energy to you and this is not what i want this is what i want so get i'm gonna say i want to say get rid of but consider if you haven't already eliminating that from your life which you are not have not dealt with so you have the you know your worth the queen of pentacles to me is an energy of independence um patience so you may have been patient in this situation trying to see if things maybe even here trying to see if things would change you know you don't want to be drastic about it you said i'm just going to sit back and see if things change and i think with the empress you have realized that didn't happen and this is what we're achieving we're trying to achieve here this is what the Queen of Pentacles is looking at. It's an energy of having that stable, happy home life with, I mean, with everything. With financial is taken care of, emotional is taken care of, um, mentally you feel good. That's what we're achieving. So, what I'm hearing here is with this Knight of Swords, whatever it is you may have been avoiding or trying to run away from, you have now dealt with. The truth has come out. This is the truth right here. Whatever the situation was, the truth has come out. And now you're starting a whole new chapter, a whole new beginning. And that came from you taking some time out to think about what it was that you really wanted. And you've grown. You have grown so much, Aries. I feel that in a very strong way. You have done so much self-growth. And uh, with the Justice card, as hard as it is, the truth, the truth will set you free. But sometimes that truth is hurtful. Regardless, it's hurtful. So, do I want to, you know what, I'm going to clarify just the Knight of Swords here. If any of this is resonating for you, and again, it's a general read, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. If it does resonate for all of you, I would appreciate if you'd give me a thumbs up on the video. That would be much appreciated. It helps the channel, and it gets the message out to your fellow Aries and anybody else who may be, be cross-watching for an Aries. Uh, that kind of thing. And subscribe and join the tribe. Would love to have you. Okay? Would love to have you as part of our soul tribe. And for anybody who is interested, I am going to be doing, uh, May is uh, Mental Health, Health Awareness Month. And so for the month of May, I believe I'm going to um, put them up on Mondays sometime. Probably, I don't know. any I don't know what time, but... Um, I'm going to try to just touch on how we can help our... And it doesn't matter... From what level whether it's just anxiety or um and anxiety can be bad enough as it is i have it myself um just to touch on some some energies to help our, our mental health in whatever situation we are in to help us deal with it and cope maybe some messages from spirit on what to do in regards to that that kind of thing um so i'm going to be doing that i'm also going to be doing shadow work at some point and i don't know when i'm going to start doing a kind of like a shadow work series Okay, and this card popped right out. It's for the Knight of Swords, the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Five of Cups. There's the disappointment with the Five of Cups. I'm not sure if you can see. It's a little, this room's dark. Uh, the lighting's bad in here. But, yes, it's been disappointing. Something has been very disappointing, almost devastating to you. And it's, it's heartbreaking. But you still have two. There's a cup here and a cup here. Two full cups. So, it's not over. You know, you will heal from this and move on and you will be fine, Aries. The King of Wands. And the King of Wands is fire energy. So uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, Justice is Libra in case you have any Libras in your, in your um, you know, that's involved in this. It doesn't have to be. So with the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Hold on now. I'm getting energies from the cards here. And again, if you look at the Knight of Wands, look at all the red in the back, the red and, and some orange. So what I'm hearing from this combination right here 
being that the Knight of Wands is behind the Knight of Swords. I mean, it doesn't have to be. I could have put him there, but regardless, the energy I'm getting from the Knight of Swords is there's some sort of, of passion, something that meant a lot to you. That it's almost like this Knight of Swords was taking that. They were taking, stealing your thunder. They were taking your, zapping your energy. That's what I'm hearing. Zapping your energy. And this whole situation just kind of squashed either your creativity, your passion for life, for, you know, whatever, for work, whatever the situation may be. And again, if it is, um, if it is some sort of love situation, I mean, we do have the, that's the Three of Swords. There was a heart here. I don't really see any love messages here but it could be an air sign the knight of swords could be a gemini libra aquarius you have libra here so it could be a libra doesn't have to be so what i'm hearing specifically aries is you have done a lot of work with yourself and your soul doing soul searching and you have come to the conclusion that whatever this is you may have been trying to avoid the truth has come out the truth has come out and now things are balancing. So the month of May, even if you haven't gotten to this point, it's going to start balancing out in May and moving forward. Okay, so if you haven't, if there's something in your life that is kind of nagging at you and you're just not quite sure about, something's just not quite right, take some time out and think about it. Okay, don't, um, try not to, I'm going to say don't, I hate using that word, try not to make any rash decisions. Okay. It's the month of May is a time of, yes, I know you're Aries and you like to get it done like that. <laughs> Don't want to wait. Well, you might have to wait a little, okay? Just kind of, you know, calm the flames just a little, even though you got all this passion going here. It's, um, it's a give and take situation, right? And so you don't want to give all of yourself and leave nothing for you. That's a, a great way for a person to burn out. And I know... There, if not all of you, some of you can relate to that. You give so much of yourself, step back and think, but what about me? When do I take time out for me? When do I deal with my mental health? When do I deal with things that make me happy? I'm too busy taking care of everyone else, which is a nice thing. But again, that can be detrimental to you because you burn out. Things may happen that wouldn't have normally happened if you had set some boundaries or, you know, taken time just for yourself. You need to recharge. It's like driving the car. You got to put gas in it. If it's an electric car, you have to recharge. Like your phone, you have to recharge it. Well, the same thing for us. Even more so because, you know, mental health is important. And I'm going to keep bringing it up because this is Mental Health Awareness Month. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, hopefully some of it resonated and helped. If not, then I guess this wasn't your reading, but thank you for joining me. And if you're still here at this point, thank you very much. Uh, again, do consider subscribing and joining the tribe. would love to have you as part of the Soul Tribe. Um, I'm, I'm planning as, as best as I can. Cons life gets in the way, but I'm planning to do this on a regular basis. Zodiac signs, love readings. I'm going to do shadow work. Uh, like I said, Monday is going to be Mental Health Mondays. And I'm going to continue with Mondays. So um, it'll be, if it's not mental health, it'll be for the month of May. It'll be something else. So we can do some soul work. That's what Deep Soul Tarot is all about. It's not just about the tarot. It's about us working on our lives, our souls, and being a support, a safe, supportive community for everyone to come here and work on and talk about whatever they want. All right. Thank you so much, Aries. I thank you for being here and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.